to another squad cast. I'm Camille, joined with Kaboom. <laughs> 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 I'm like, I did that. that. I didn't, did you do that. He didn't. Like, I blinked <laughs> and it was there. That was not there. He's what channeling happened? his inner Wonder oh Woman. I love it. But you're going to put that energy on hold because we got Alex. We also got Victoria, who is Hi. a writer on squadstate.com, our website. Bringing us all the goodness. Uh, we have a lot to talk about. Obviously, the, the big one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. is really eager to talk about uh, DC News. More specifically, mm-hmm. Gotham Knights and the Suicide Squad game. Mm-hmm. So, no Wonder Woman. Do you have like a Harley Quinn wig you could put on? So then you could actually. No, I was I was hoping to get one before the podcast. Couldn't make it work, unfortunately. Gonna, the next do this week, whole though, cosplay actually. Like the next short, week, I'm going Harley Quinn everything. cosplay. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> Can't we? The bat. Don't forget that. Yeah, I'm pretty. I yo. I I spoke about this off stream, but I feel like. Caboose has some bats in his closet, not metaphorically. <laughs> I mean, literally. He's trying to channel the bat cave. They're in there, people. Let this run. Let this conspiracy theory run because I'm sure it'll be true when we uh, get to it. Uh, someone in <laughs> Stealth Gamer in chat said, Wonder Caboose. <laughs> nice. Wonder, Wonder Boost. Yeah, Wonder you got to change Wonder all Boost. your branding now. Uh, <laughs> but we got other news as well. We got Battletoads. We'll be talking about, about that as well as Pokemon bands, uh, top 16 most popular Pokemon in ranked. So Victoria's got all the details on that. And of course, uh, this one is kind of old news, but it's come back. It's Gamer Girl game uh, gets unannounced i guess <laughs> yeah alex okay, got that so. story uh but you know what why don't we actually start with that story first i say we we need caboose like a good time for caboose so let's just <laughs> jump into everyone uh, remember chat to let your thoughts be heard in chat remember to tweet us at squad state as well um if you have any funny clips that uh, you want to clip and share with us on the socials but alex sure, you want to start this nothing. one off yeah so which do we do we decide if we were gonna play the thing or not? Do we, are, oh, are I know. I, 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 just say play, right? Yeah. No, so, oh so, no, I love it. Oh, yeah. play, is it just playing right now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So uh, this, I guess they they came out with this like maybe a few weeks ago now, but it was a game that they, they came out with a trailer called Gamer Girl, and it's an adventure game, like one of those like choose your adventure, where you follow, you are the moderator for uh, a girl that streams, or a gamer girl, I guess. I, apparently that's where they got yeah. their title from. Apparently that's what people Appar- are called now, girls yeah. that stream. We're all gamer girls. Yeah. Sorry, Alex girls and Victoria. That's, we got to change our handles to we have to be a gamer that girl. Now, apparently. That's literally our species. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Category. And, uh, but yeah, so you literally choose your own adventure with this girl, but apparently it like takes like a very cryptic side, and apparently she gets somehow caught up in like a murder which is that's and then that's like was supposed to be the point of it. It's not all about uh, living out a fantasy because <laughs> yeah, towards the end she gets caught in murder and you're supposed to help her. That's with it. Like she gets caught murdering or she. Well, I don't know. Maybe she gets caught in a bad situation. The <laughs> yeah, trailer doesn't really show murder. you, but it implies. <laughs> yeah, because she, she's yeah. in a murder and she doesn't call the police. She's like Twitch chat. She calls no. She yeah, yeah, Twitch chat. What do I do? <laughs> Like, I knew bat signal. Somebody died. Oh my god! That's so funny. Oh my god! That is yeah. horrible. That oh, is I, so bad. I love so how, bad. like, in the trailer, she literally goes, "Moderator, what do I do?" Yeah, She's talking to you. That's... You're her moderator. Her moderator becomes like her person she talks to. Yeah. Um. So yeah, like it got a lot of backlash, of course, because yeah. it's a pretty sexist. It's Although I, I can see that they don't mean it that way. Yeah, kind of, like, kind of I think the point they were trying to do is that basically how online relationships kind of develop and how it can impact a person. Yeah, is what they were going for. Yes, I, I think that's a really interesting. Um, it's very interesting to explore, but yes. The- it's kind of insensitive as well because we have so many <laughs> instances um, where you have streamers they're being stalked, like Sweet Anita, a really popular oh, streamer. Yeah. She was Brutal. being stalked. Someone yeah. was camping outside of her home. 
like Terrible. it's it's kind of insensitive to what's happening but i understand the attraction to explore because it is interesting as you know twitch or streaming culture becomes more prominent and more and more prominent and we have a whole generation that's just gonna grow up knowing gaming with streamers right um mm -hmm. i you know twitch was in oh, yeah. around when i was younger so it's a completely different audience so i understand the need or the want to explore that but i feel like there are better ways to do to that. approach it yeah like there was that one movie right i, I didn't actually see it but it was like the one where all these friends are on like webcam together oh yeah um, what like is that movie? or something was yeah it I, or something is that what it was called? and then the ghost, yeah. the ghost like, was uh yeah getting it's revenge on them through the <laughs> side calls yeah and I, I, I don't know actually have you guys seen that movie I, mean, I, 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 I didn't see it. I, I didn't watch yeah, it. Yeah, I, I saw the trailer. I heard about it. I didn't watch it. Yeah. See, at least, at least that's not called like Gamer Friends. <laughs> yeah. Gamer Friends. <laughs> gamer friends. <laughs> maybe if they did it where it wasn't maybe live action, because it kind of looks like a movie, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How yeah. the trailers, maybe if they did it to make it more like a game, people would have been more accepting. Yeah. 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 I think, I think that's how it is too. Like maybe even if, because, it's a tough subject and sometimes it's hard for us to like the audience to digest a really sensitive issue when it is live action, like you mentioned, Victoria. So maybe if they did like, maybe sometimes you have to like not dumb it down, but dumb down ha the, or change the approach to the game. So right. like if they did it like eight bit style, um, that'd be like a really interesting way to communicate that. But then would it lose its impact on like what it's trying to do, whatever that was, it wasn't really clear um, what the game was trying to do for the audience. But mm -hmm. like, how do you think, like, okay, I don't want to go into murky waters, okay? But if you were to kind of explore <laughs> a game that was talking about streaming culture and how it could end up, or go into a toxic way. So like how chat could be sometimes or how um, demanding it could mentally um, straining it could be for the strainer. Like, how do you, how would you go about that? Because like, I, I love games that try to have a social message to it, but it's really hard to do. Yeah. Well, I think you got it bang on the head there. It's, it's just really hard to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. And clearly the, the, there was a misfire here. Um, and, and I agree, I, I like there probably wasn't like malice intent in the in the inception yeah. of the game. Mm -hmm. Like they weren't making it like we're ready for people to hate this. You know, <laughs> they, they, I, I don't think that was what they were trying to do. I'm sure they were genuinely trying to like send a message, but it's just in the in the presentation of it, um, in, in the in the delivery of the game. It's just a misfire. It just it yeah. doesn't work. Um and, and currently with some of the things going on, like real world things going on with some of these streamers, like you had mentioned with mm -hmm. uh, with Sweet Anita, it's like it, it, it comes off as insensitive. Uh, and so it was probably the right move for them to be like, OK, we're not going to release this game. So <laughs> yeah. um, uh, I mean, I don't know. That's that's also probably a big financial blow to the amount of work that was put into it. But mm. hey, sometimes sometimes you have yeah. to you have to do this, you know. Maybe if they did like 3D models similar to Detroit Become Human or Until Dawn, where it's yeah. like they look realistic, but it's still, you know, it's not real. Yeah. It would yeah. probably help a lot. Yeah, I to actually present it like a video game rather than like almost yeah. real, because, an interactive yeah, movie, if you will. Because like, I think just it being like a real life person acting, it just makes it too real for people. Yeah. Yeah. And also, I think they did pull the trailer as well um, from online. So, like, yeah. I don't even think you can. How do we get the trailer? Uh, but no, I don't oh, think that yeah. you can. You can <laughs> well, actually post it online. It's well, online forever. forever. <laughs> and that's the thing. I, I think what sucks the most for this publisher or the developers behind it is now they're kind of known for creating this gamer girl game that had so many negative stereotypes as well as women it's not even just the fact it's dealing with the sensitive issue of stalking but also the negative stereotypes that also is a huge topic in gaming right now like we're talking about women 
having to lot or having to have these stereotypes put on them um yeah. and being feeling that they're they don't have a place in the industry and then you kind of release this it's just completely insensitive like i really don't know what and i, I don't think that they were trying to be malicious i don't think so but it's just they miss the mark like by a mile like they really miss the mark here and yeah. it, it sucks because then what does the future of that those developers in that studio what will they have yeah i mean the the way they created the trailer really made it seem like <laughs> it just really made it seem like this was more of like a, a way to play out a fantasy than yeah. than like a uh, <laughs> than, than like anything else, especially in the beginning. And honestly, that was kind of frustrating to me. Um, mm -hmm. Just kind of seeing more of like uh, women being helpless, and then you know, and we're supposed to keep yeah, depending and you're on supposed to rely on someone else. To yeah, help you in your yeah, your moderator, not even <laughs> yeah. Yeah, not even like authorities or anything. <laughs> she yeah, just witnesses the murder, sure. calls her moderator. Moderator, what do I do? Not even call him by a real name. <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> just, but again, here we saw like where the community kind of came together, and it's the backlash that really driven this game to be canceled. Like, I don't think if people spoke out about it as much as game would be canceled, it would have still been out there. Oh, True. for sure. Mm hmm. But luckily, well, I mean, everyone was like, this is stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys seen that dumb. game, uh, Super Seducer? No. What is that? What? Oh, you guys haven't seen that? It was, it's pretty pop. It got pretty popular on Twitch maybe like a year and a half ago. This one dude, I, I don't know how else to explain him other than like very eccentric, uh, created a game just like that where it's like interactive. And he is, is supposed to be teaching you how to pick up women. But it's like he creates really, really wacky situations. He'll be like, okay, so if you want to talk to a girl, what should you say to them? And then he gives you like on screen options. One of them is like, say hi, or one of them is tell her she's ugly. <laughs> or like <laughs> one of them is like, pull out a monkey from your bag or something. <laughs> and it's just like, like really, really wacky. But, but I think like, like, that was completely serious though. <laughs> oh. Oh, so I think wow. so I think that's why it got kind of popular because people would play it on Twitch because it became like a meme. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, and then even so even it was serious, but nobody took it seriously. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And people just played it just to see like like what the was going decisions. on with it. That's yes. Cool. So cool. it's interesting that that game was kind of like celebrated almost as a cult classic at this point, kind of like The Room. If you guys have seen that movie, yes. It was like Hello, kind of like Mark. that. Yes, yes. The guy who made that game reminds me a lot of Tommy Wiseau. So yeah, <laughs> I did not. But, I did not. It's not true. <laughs> You're tearing we me should, apart, Lisa. <laughs> we should just for a squad cast <laughs> reading of the room. Yeah, we should. We should do that. Uh, Let's we do should that. just do a, a reading of reading? the room. Yeah. yeah. Why? Why the heck not? <laughs> We don't have the experience to do this. <laughs> like, yeah, like our producer's telling us on a slow news week we could do that. <laughs> Just chat. Oh, hi, Mark. Let it, hello, hi, Mark. <laughs> chat. Put it out there on our socials at Squad State. Let them know you want us to do a table <laughs> read of the guys. And we'll have to make it happen. I'm pretty sure there's also a whole bunch of legal issues. Maybe we wouldn't be able. I don't know. I don't know how this works. But just put it out there. Like uh, let's try to make it work. Don't your memes be dreams. <laughs> or don't your dreams be memes. But, but yeah, I, I think Gamer <laughs> Girl would have been a meme game, like right. kind of like exactly. super seduce. What was it? Super seduce super is what it was called. Yeah. If it were to release, which is really unfortunate because damn, yeah. it would have went bad. That's what I, I guess. Like, is there like? social commentary there it's like why did this guy just because he's a little goofy even though he was kind of completely serious when he made it you know found success but then this game got like all this backlash and now it's just completely canceled mm, like what do you what do you guys think a, about that's a like, good question oh i think it's like room that was like back in like 2003 you know or are oh, you wait, talking no. about, sorry, talking, you're talking about, you're talking about the other game? Yeah. Okay. Right. When, did that, well, when did that game come out? I think the that... game came out like two years ago. Let me look it up. Oh. Yeah, because like, it was really... Much. It even went on to make 
three. There's a super seducer three, apparently. <laughs> is it because, though, I think, <laughs> you know, if because you made an example of like pulling a monkey out or a banana or whatever. When, <laughs> yeah. like, yeah. No, seriously, they're pretty wacky stuff. Well, <laughs> not, I'm thinking of the euthanism there. Um, what the? <laughs> I, um, I, I just, that just clicked in my mind. Oh, wow. It's, it's probably just because, that, yeah, because just like what Camila's saying, it's just so outlandish yeah. That, yeah. That, that, people that people can people take it as a joke. Yeah. yeah. Whereas this, yeah. it was like, yes, taken seriously. And was Super Seduce a live action? Yes, it was. Oh, it was. As oh, well. And he literally acts in it, and he has the girls act in it too. And oh wow, that is yeah. just so. Wild. That's why. That's why people played it because it was like very, very good content there. <laughs> yeah, I think because it was so outlandish, that's probably why it landed. Or maybe now we're at a place as a community where we're just more socially aware. Um, especially with the current events of issues that have been brought up in the community that yeah. now we are like, we feel more empowered to talk out about these games that really do um, hit home to the issues within gaming. Yeah. And it just, it certainly doesn't help. Like, like I said, in regards to like the timing of it all. Yeah. Uh, I think that's, and, and that's how it affects thing. some of the, some of the real world stuff that's going on with them um, with like female streamers and stuff. So yes, that's probably, that's probably a big factor. Yeah. Um and then again, just like I said, like that that other game just sounds like super wacky and, and <laughs> yeah. dumb to the point where it's like you could play it and laugh at it. Whereas yeah. with Gamer Girl, it's like, oh, oh geez. It's like, ooh. Well, I think when like, Gamer Girl first came out, happen. didn't it get like uh it came out through one of the what, is it for PlayStation or it came out like like some like there was a big it was like actually on a platform because Super Seducer was like this one guy just made this game and put it on Steam. I, I, okay. yeah, I remember what it was where where like the trailer really landed and people started to see it. Yeah, because um, I think that I, might be too, like a reason yeah. why too. It just got the trailer. Act, people actually saw it, and then with Super Seducer, it kind of just appeared. <laughs> yeah, right. And it appeared in Twitch streams before it appeared yeah. like as a serious guess, thing. He didn't have a trailer for that game, right? It just it was just up. For Super yeah. Seducer. Yeah. Well, it probably did, but it just probably wasn't like seen anywhere mm. until streamers started to play it. Right. So then, right. then I guess that's an interesting thing because it's like streamers can kind of control or have a bit of control on like how, how games yeah. are being viewed. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Well, I if, think we, if a big streamer plays a game, it's going to get a lot of attention. Yeah. 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 That's true. I mean, I think that can go for like most games. Like a, a large part, I feel like, of Fortnite's success was. Oh yeah. oh yeah, definitely. People yeah. like Ninja and 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 them growing with the game mm -hmm. and and introducing more people to the game and and I feel like that like that can happen with pretty much any game. Do you think it could happen with Battletoads? Oh. <laughs> Transition. Wow. Unreal. Look at you. I just want to say Unreal. before we get to before we get to Battletoads, I, I'm just really happy I don't have to play Gamer Girl game. <laughs> yeah. You're and living I'll, it, actually. Yeah. And I'll, I'll, yeah, I'm living it. Oh my god, don't <laughs> say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your life is actually someone is picking all your options for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that's like, like the Truman Show. Yeah, yeah. You watch the Netflix show. It was like you choose what the characters do in the movie. It was a Netflix oh, There's a movie. couple of those. Oh, yeah. uh, the, uh, there's the a Spanish Black Mirror one. one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, it was the Black Mirror. Yeah. It's like you're I choosing what this guy does, and then sometimes he's like, like becomes self aware of it sometimes. It's like someone's picking my actions for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah.